Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Sleepless Ninja, and today we are going to go over the Super Nintendo emulator application. So this is called uh, Snezoid, and the emulator is separate. You need to download ROMs of the actual game. Um, for those of you who might have been using ROM Gripper in the past, or those of you unfamiliar with it, it is no longer available in the marketplace. So I usually go to uh, coolroms.com, C-O-O-L-R-O-M-S.com, and um, download my ROMs there. And um, all, that's where all of these come from. And let's uh, first uh, check it out. Let's click on one. Basically, you just put it in a folder, and then you navigate through the file system to select the ROMs. I have all my ROMs in the ROM, divided up by console. So this is in the Super Nintendo. And then... Um, when I open the app, it just opens up to the last folder, which happens to be Super Nintendo, and I have them all there. So you can see it's loading up Donkey Kong quite well. And it has the on-game screen um, keyboard, which, you know, works pretty well. But on a zoom, you know, it's a little wide, and um, there's just a better way to go about it. So I'm actually using a Wiimote that's hooked up to a Wii Classic controller. So this is the controller I'm using for a more uh, classical feel. Um, that way I don't even have to hold the uh, zoom. And you can see I can navigate using the controller. It's amazing. I have a video in my channel on how to hook up a Wiimote um, to your Zoom, and it works with any Android device. And um, the Wii Classic controller well, is it, just as easy as hooking up the, the Wii mode itself. It's all in that video, so check it out. So, But it's actually pretty cool. You have your own miniature console, and you have a controller, and it, it works well. Just I, I just kind of want to show you that I am indeed controlling but I'll get it out so you can fully see the screen. So because you're using a controller, the uh, and not a virtual keyboard, you don't really feel like you're being hindered anymore. One of the things about the virtual keyboard is you had to get used to the response time. You know, it's not, it's not as uh, responsive as a controller so it can be a little weird at first however when uh, using the Wii Classic it feels just like playing on the console it's uh, just simply great everyone loves Donkey Kong and so there's a wide assortment of games and um, the only game that I found that so far hasn't worked in the, I think I've been doing this for two years. Um, I uh, original, oh, it's a year, year and a half. Originally, uh, I was using this ROM on my Droid, so this works on Droid One, so it should work on most uh, Android phones. And um, the only game that didn't work was Super Mario RPG, which which is a, a dear favorite of mine. Um, I'm sure there were others, but there's a way of playing it in the options. Now, where you go to options, more, excuse me, options, settings, other settings, and you can use this, use Core C mode, and it's actually was meant because, you know, a lot of people like Super Mario RPG and where there were a lot of murmurs, and you just click that off, it makes the game run a little slower, but it handles some of those games that um, you might not be used to. So. One, you know, one person might be questioning, how come a, you know, Zoom, this really powerful machine, might not be able to play certain ROMs? And it's kind of an interesting question, because um, even though a system might be extremely more powerful, to actually replicate a pre-existing system on a different, on a hardware level, using software, is actually very, very difficult. You can think of when you're doing something in life and you get something, you know, working 
in, in a real life scenario, you might have to really know the tools of the trade and kind of connect certain dots here and kind of quickly work something here and there. And people do that in the same in the video game business. Oh, to get this effect, I took this little shortcut here. Or, oh, the shortcoming of the console can be taken advantage here. And it's very, very, very hard to simulate those type of things that the game developers did. So one of the reasons why it's tough to build an emulator is because, yeah, you can, you can handle all the cases that were expected, but a lot of the developers to produce cooler things and newer features, you know, ha and to really push the envelope on the console had to take these type of, you know, shortcuts or these hacks, as, it, as you may call it. And, um, it's, you know, it's really hard to emulate all of those things. So it, it has nothing to do with something not being powerful enough. It's just, it's hard to replicate hardware, an actual hardware system in, in just pure software form. It's, sorry for all the technical jargon. But, let's, uh, let's quickly just check another game out, because I'm sure all of you want to see another game. What do we, uh, do... Super Mario World. A couple couple features that this has is the ability to quickly save and load from any point. So you can see I could load from a certain state and I could save from a certain state. So this becomes really useful. So you could save at a particular instance you're stuck in a game and then just quickly load back to it if it didn't pan out instead of the classical saving and loading that you're used to on uh, the Super Nintendo. But you can see the level of Mario plays like would expected. And of course having the controllers always a plus. And uh, we'll just pretend that didn't happen. Anyhow I have one more su surprise for you. So right now, you know, you're on the Zoom, but how, how can we make this better? How can we take this to the next level? And my friends, simple. Connect your Zoom to a TV. Let me let me even pan a little bit more back. So there we go. We have the zoom on a 60-inch TV, and you're playing a console like back in the day with the controller, and it's a lot of fun. So definitely. Check this out. Um, there's a free version and there's a paid version. I just, the free version works very well for me. Um, also, it's, it, it, it's just, it's like playing it on the Super Nintendo and the cool thing is you can take this wherever you go, hook it up into anything, bring your controller and really bring this portable console with you and it's just like the Super Nintendo for a lot of these games. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration on Super Nintendo and a couple of the cool features that is brought along with it. Um, if you have any questions regarding this emulator, um, particular ROMs that are working, feel free to leave a comment. I'll be more than happy to help you out there. Um, if you liked this video, please like it. Um, I'm doing daily video updates on anything that has to do with the Zoom. If you have any requests, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to make a video up for you. Thank you so much, everyone, and have a great day.